Hi everyone. I'm going to make a soap today that I made just a couple days ago. People are wondering how I did it. This is the soap I did. You can see the design goes all the way through the bar. And that's the Spanish fly soap that I did. And people are asking me what it smells like. Well, I can't describe it. But uh, if you go on uh, Mad Oils, they will describe it to you. Okay, I'm soaping at 121 and 115. Using cranberry fig for my fragrance today. It's a fragrance that behaves very well. And I've taken it to a light trace. Divide it all four in four different sections for my four different colors. Somebody made a comment about me speeding up some of the sections of my soap making. And I responded to her, if I knew how to do it, I would do that. But um, I haven't learned how to do that. I've been having problems getting the uh, videos uploaded to YouTube. So I'm going to have to visit the uh, Geek Squad again see what the problem is. I did an oatmeal soap that um, I tried uploading it twice and it rejected it. So, don't know what I'm doing wrong. Just not good with computers. I can read what they tell me to do but I think I've said it before, it's like reading French. Don't know how to read French. <laughs> okay. I'm 
using activated charcoal green oxide makes a nice Christmas color Christmas green Gold Sparkle Mica. And Voodoo with a tiny bit of black in it. And somebody else asked me how much I use, color I add per pound of, or, of soap, but I don't go by that. I just mix my colors up, and if I don't like the color, like that doesn't look, well, it's black enough. If I don't like a color, I just add some more. some more gold. I really want the gold to show up. Sorry about all the noise. What I'm going to do is just keep pouring in the mold. With different colors. These days I will cut these things off.
Yeah, you can speed this up if you don't want to watch me pour. Unfortunately, you can't get to the end result unless you're doing the pour. And often, depends on how your soap comes out on how you pour. Debating on whether to use the black or white in this, but when you use black, it frames your other colors, which makes your soap look really nice. And when I make a soap, I try to do two light colors and two darker colors, or a dark and a light color. I'm just using two. I hadn't seen anybody do anything like this before and I thought I was the first one to try it. <laughs> of course I'm not. I was looking at YouTube last night and there was a lady doing the same thing I'm doing right now. Only thing, she didn't go all the way to the bottom like I'm going to. She just made her design on the top. Wind up with the gold on top.
Alrighty. Alrighty, I have this thing that I made. Kind of crude, but it works. I'm stick this down all the way to the bottom and drag it across. Just like a peacock swirl. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try to get in between. No, it's not working. So what I'm going to do is take a skewer, not a chopstick, a skewer, and where it's wider, I'm going to go down. Now I'm using a skewer. I'm going to do like a peacock swirl. You're going all the way down to the bottom, so all the layers get swirled. see that or not. If I turn it this way. Maybe if I move it this way. You see how the black frames the other colors? I'm going to do one more thing with this. my chopstick about an inch away from the side. Like 
that. Just a zigzag and now about an inch away from the opposite side. Put my stick all the way to the bottom and mirror the other image. Okay, there you have it. That's a semi peacock swirl in a slab mold, or in a, in a uh, loaf mold. Couldn't think what it was called. <laughs> but anyway, I think these will look pretty nice when they're done, when they're all cured. Reminds me of a printed dress I had when I was a little girl. <laughs> there you have it. Cranberry fig. And black... What's it called? Oh. Activated charcoal. Couldn't think what it's called. My brain is fried. Too much lye, I guess. And gold sparkle mica, green oxide, and the voodoo mica with a little bit of black in it. But give it a try. It's not hard to do. Just have to have um, bring your soap to a light trace. And then when you add your oil, I think that helps to keep it a little more fluid because I'm adding extra oil with my micas. So, well that's it for this one and we'll cut it up tomorrow see what we got inside. It should be pretty much like it is on the outside. But everybody have a good day. i got to clean up my mess and um, this is Misty Springs Bath and Body. That's me. And have a good day. Thanks for watching.